Avenue, and that was just one of three shootings in the district today that killed two, including a child. The first one happened on Nash Street Northeast. That's in Deanwood. One man was killed there. The second was in Shaw in Northwest, where two children were shot. And tonight, police are still trying to piece together what happened when three people were shot off New York Avenue in Northeast. And that's where our Jess Arnold is live on the scene. The latest. Yeah, it is a complicated scene here, so try to follow along with me. Police say it started out with a man standing in the middle of New York Avenue over here, shooting at a car that was heading westbound. Now, police say that car turned going the wrong way onto First Street, where it hit another car. And you heard from that Lyft driver earlier, as you mentioned, Delia, that car was also caught in the crossfire, as you mentioned. Now, when police showed up onto the scene to investigate and looked in that car that ended up turning down the wrong way onto First Street, they found two people suffering from gunshot wounds. Police said one had critical injuries, but he is now stable. The other had a non-life threatening injury. And police said they also found another car with a victim with gunshot wounds at the mobile gas station nearby. That victim is also stable, police said tonight. Now, they are still searching for that original shooter that was shooting at the car on New York Avenue and earlier today, as you mentioned, Delia, police say that a teenage boy was shot to death in Shaw. Police say it was a little after two o'clock in the afternoon, a sunny day in DC Shaw neighborhood when two boys under the age of 15 were shot. One of them died. The other is being treated for a non life threatening injury. You know what's going on here? Uh, it's it's the same story that we keep saying. It's it's young people resolving disputes with firearms. Uh, and then now we got a we got a young kid who's lost his life. Chief Peter Newsham said officers were already in the area because of a recent increase in crime and heard the shots. He said when officers showed up, some kids ran away. They caught up with some of them, and Chief Newsham said none are suspects. He said it looked like there was some type of dispute that caused the shooting, so it wasn't random. But it's enough to worry this father of two young girls. And of course we worried. I know uh, one of our daughter goes to the school a few blocks from here. Uh, our baby goes to the daycare a few blocks from uh, here. Samuel De La Pierre lives around the corner from the center. He says incidents like this are making him question whether they should stay. You know, if it keeps on going and... Uh, you know, at some point, we may consider you know, moving to a different neighborhood, unfortunately. Chief Newsham said police are trying their best to stop the violence. There is no quick fix. I, I think the way to fix it is to address you know, the, the, the gun, uh, gun uh, issue. To solve this case, Chief Newsham said they're looking at footage from their camera that was in the area and videos from neighbors. Now, this child's death comes just a week after police say two other teens were shot and killed just a few miles away in the Brightwood neighborhood. Delia? Yeah, just like that gentleman said, no quick fix, but we're hoping that the community will work with police to try to get a hold of all of this violence. Just